Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Kim with Creative Practicality and today I wanted to share my Christmas journal with you. This is one that I made for myself. It is the Better Not Pout uh, collection from Cheaply Chic. I'm on the design team for Lynette and usually on the videos for the design team I'll do some craft with me's. This time I wanted to complete my Christmas journal and I am late with getting this video out so I just went ahead and made the whole journal and look how fat it is. Oh my goodness it's like the really chunky and this is just you know just as um, a small like traveler's notebook size <laughs> and it's so fat because I my journals, I don't write in them. I like to add pictures and just embellish and stuff. So yeah, that's, I have this full of pictures. I may do a little bit of writing and I have some extra pages, believe it or not. There's pages that are empty in here that I, you know, I have decorated, but not there, there aren't any pictures, but so I may do some writing in here, but just look how chunky. This chunky goodness. So what I did with the cover was I added the Christmas little vintage Santa there and and just to start just to say that everything I've used almost everything that was included in the kit and I added some just ribbon like this golden pink ribbon that I had in my stash and some pink lace that I had in my stash and then the only other thing that I added in here were uh, some paper from it was a hot buy paper pad I think it was called sugar crush I added that throughout I had scraps of it from another journal that I made with it and so I added that in here so I could have some more color to add in um, and then I think other than those other than the ribbon and the paper I had some Christmas rubber stamps that I used in a few places just to add some more detail to the book. But so I added this it was in the collection and then I glued this down here and I glued the ribbon just a little bit around here so it would stay on. And then I made using some of the fibers and trims that were in the collection along with my ribbons. I decorated one of the paper clips and that just I made a little tassel with it so that hangs off the front there and then I have this tied and it's just tied around and then the only part I glued was just this to that point and then this on the front so yeah, you can open it all the way up. And I'll just do a quick, well, it's probably not going to be quick, but I'll flip through here so you can see what I did with this. So in the front cover, I used the library card pocket and the library card. I added a picture and did a little bit of decorating at the top. And then I made a little pocket along the bottom of the pocket and added in that little tag. On the other side, I used the Santa, made a double pocket there on the side, and then a pocket hiding in, be in behind the Santa. And then I made a card there with a couple pictures on the back and a tab. This next page, I used the envelope down at the bottom, and there's a little hidden text spot, but I just connected the envelope on the left side and you can open it up there. I can add any kind of journaling or whatever, but that holds the tag. And then I had a picture that I added back there, pictures from when we were baking and I did those cookies we decorated. The next sheet, I attached the tag that came in the kit that is the double-sided scrapbook paper I used two tickets and attached that. And then here I added a picture of our puppy and this is my friend's puppy JD. 
another one of our dog. I added pom-pom trim on that page. On the other side, I added one of the glassine bags and a tag and kind of decorated that. Added another picture of our friend's dog. And then on this one, I added a guest check, made a little flap, and then added a couple pictures. On the other side, I just added that picture of the Santa and that opens up there and then added another couple pictures on the inside of our gingerbread houses that we made. And then this was just one of the pages. I added some, tied some lace in there, added pictures and a piece of scrapbook paper. On this side was just the fold out of that paper, or I attached the paper on the other side of that page and then just had it be a little flip out. Here on this page, I added a picture and some scrapbook paper and another picture on the inside there. This one, I added a belly band using the, the vintage wrap or wallpaper. And then with the card, I added a couple pictures on the inside there and that just tucks in. Added another picture on that side with some rickrack and just added pictures there on the other side there on the right I made a little pocket with half of the envelope that was included in the kit. It was an envelope that had a window in it so I just added the tag. It flips open and has a picture behind it. On this side is another picture and then in the glassine bag I decorated that, added the little tag in there, added another picture on the other side. That is my daughter and her boyfriend. And then on this side I made I used the little punch outs to make a banner and then added a picture and on the right side I did look a, a little corner pocket that had two little tuck spots in it and I just added some of the ephemera. On this page spread I added the little glassine envelope right inside the right in the middle and I just tucked it under the the embroidery thread that was holding the pages together. And then on this side, I added two little pockets, had some extra ephemera I just stuck in there. And then on the other side is another belly band. This is attached to the ledger paper that folds out. And then there's a little, there's a picture in there of my in-laws. The next page has some pictures of our, the light, Wonder Lights that we went through. It was a drive through thing that was really awesome with my daughter in Ohio. And yeah, I just had some pictures there of that. This was one of the sh pieces of sheet music that came in the kit. I just attached it so you could pull it out and to be able to see the whole thing. It was a cute little page. And then on this one, I added some of that paper um, the snowflake paper made it a pocket and then added another tag in there and added a picture of my daughter. That is one of the sheets that's in the book, the vintage pages. And then there's more of our little trip that we took to try and go sledding. This is one of the piece, one of the papers that came with the collection. And I love the image that's going to be opening up here. I used some scrapbook paper and put that on one side and then I tied it up with ribbon. I glued the ribbon in and that actually made a little side pocket that you'll see here in a second. But that just ties it up. You can open it up. I could add pictures in there if I wanted, but I really like that. On this Two page spread. I made a little fold up little booklet kind of thing down at the bottom and I used some of the yarn that was included in the kit and it looks like it got I accidentally glued it underneath the picture on the other side so I'm gonna have to I, I pull it out but you'll see here this is tied up I just folded that tag. It's a inventory tag, I believe, but I added the little snowman 
paper on the front of that and just folded it up so that you could tie it and the yarn just goes fits through the tag hole at the top and I can just tie that up on the inside I can add pictures I didn't have any pictures at this time to add into it but I can also do journaling in there too there are more pictures of us when we went sledding on this next page are pictures from our trip to see the in-laws and also as well on this side I made two little flaps with that snowflake paper added a Santa stamp and some punches this is just a little tuck I made with some of the vintage paper and then on the next page is a picture of our dog and cat next to the tree this one is just a pocket I used the little flash card and made that a tag on this page I added two pictures from our zoom family zoom Christmas calls from different sides of the family made a little pocket in there to add a piece of a cut apart from the paper collection that I added in that hot buy and then with the jewelry envelope that she put in this kit I made this into a shaker tag I just added a picture. It was a the little Christmas tree that my daughter bought for herself in her new apartment and I stuck that in there, added some sequins and and then just made it a tag so that was cool. So that is it guys. I hope you enjoyed this. Gives you some inf inspiration not only for your Christmas journal but any journal that you may be working on. Have a good day. Bye.